Hi there and welcome to the BO2 Redacted Tutorial. Um, before we get started, you want to make sure that you actually have Black Ops 2 on Steam and that you have Redacted installed. So to install Redacted, you want to right click your Black Ops 2, go and browse local files and you will want to drag your Redacted LAN files, which will be in the description, onto your Black Ops 2. Once you drag them over, you will have Redacted installed. Okay, so once Redacted is installed, you are going to need a console that supports Redacted. So, we have a choice of two. Now, you can get the Amiss console, which will cost you around $10, but is the most ultimate console. It has everything you will need for this tutorial. It's linked below in the description. Or you can use Asuri's console. Now, this console does work but it's obviously a little bit more minimalistic and is mainly for the pure purpose of actually loading a pre-made CFG instead of making one. This is much better if you already have a nice CFG that you like the look of that you just simply want to inject. But it is missing some cool features such as fog and a custom sunlight tweaker which it does kind of have but it's nowhere near as good as a mist. And the GUI in general is just nowhere near as good. Though keep in mind this is a free alternative and for as a free alternative is very good. Once you've got your BO2 console, you want to get something called reshade. Now this will help us make our game look even better than it could before. So once you get the reshade set up, which will be in the description, you want to open it, click here to find game, browse, and find your BO2 T6MPV43.exe. This will be in your Black Ops 2 directory. Click this. Choose direct 3D 10, 11, 12. Make sure you have this, and what you want to do is now add another repository. This will be linked in the description. What you want to do is add this, it's called Quint. It's a really, really good uh, shader pack for reshade. So you want to press add repository, and you want to click everything apart from Quint MXAO. So make sure all of them are clicked apart from Quint MXAO, and press OK. It will download the reshade shaders. Now once they're installed, what you want to do is press edit reshade and, and press skip tutorial. You do not want this tutorial, it's very long and it makes the whole process tedious. Now to check we have it installed, you want to open up your Black Ops 2. And what we should get is something like this. This is home. Now I've got a preset on already, that's why it's doing this, but... Yeah, there we go. We've got it. And BO2 has reshade installed. I actually forgot to mention this, once you have reshade installed you need to go into settings and disable anti-listening. Make sure it's set to off. This is so we can use depth buffer effects. If you have this on, uh, stuff like DOF and AO won't work and you want to have those. And also once reshade is installed you want to check that your preprocessor settings or definitions are set to this. Just copy these. <laughs> now, once you have everything installed, you're going to need some sort of software to record your game. So you can either use Fraps or the X Story. Now Fraps, you'll have to have any external display turned off. You only need one display. You have to have one display. Now for the X Story, it's good, but it takes a little messing around with it first. You'll need to go into here. Set a place where you want to record. I recommend recording to an SSD as it allows for faster write speeds, which will not frame drop, it usually stops frame drops. And then you need to go here, go to DX3 video codec, click here, and click low quality. Now you may think, oh, low quality, that's a really bad option. Um, no, because basically the X-Tory's low quality is actually like a million bit rate, which is more than enough for YouTube. Another thing is you want to set your frame rate to 30 or whatever FPS you can record at. You want to make sure you limit your FPS to what you can record at. You can test this by running the software, opening up the game, and then pressing <laughs> then pressing F12. And for Fraps it's the same thing. You want to open it up. Set this to a location, mainly your SSD. An FPS that you can record at, which you can test by pressing F9 or F12 in DX Story. And you also want to make sure this is off. You don't want this checked. This is really bad. And yeah, that is how we get our recording set up. All the software will be in the description. Okay, so we've 
come to the end of this tutorial and now what we're going to do is actually start recording now before we start recording you want to download the Corixia demo pack which will be in the description and you also want to download this advanced dolly cam this will help us get better sins okay so now let's start up BO2 so now once BO2 is open what we want to do is just go into our Black Ops 2 directory go into plugins open net storage cloud and film underscore mp now if there's a demo in there you want to make sure you delete it and you only want to have one demo at once so a demo is usually four files one demo okay so let's get a demo so let's read for times and we'll have all the times in here uh, I'm going to use the chromey 1k 2js ns dso so let's find it in here okay so once we find our clip in here, which I have, which is here, 525, we want to go into our game, go into online, theatre, select film, click the demo, and go into podcast film. Now once we're in the game, we want to press F, go into options, and make sure your settings are the same as mine. Now once you're in your game, you also want to go into options in here, settings, make sure these are the same, and these are the same. Also it doesn't matter what uh, screen resolution you're in, I just have mine set to this. Just make sure it's over 720p, you don't want to have anything lower than 720p. Alright, so let's find the time where our demo is, 525. Now once we get to our demo point, we want to execute our CFG, or use our reshade. So, for reshade, all you really need is AO, and you want to tweak this in until it looks nice. I recommend going into third person, seeing how it looks on the player. FXAA and SMAA. And then make sure they're in this format, like this. And there we go, we're done. Now, if you want a nicer reshade, or just some better reshades, I've linked a pack in the description. Now, it costs five pounds, five British pounds, but if you want to get it for free, all you need to do is share this video and send proof to my Discord. Send proof that you've actually shared this video to my Discord, and then you can get the pack for free. Much better option, and you save money. So anyways, once you've got your reshade set up, you want to open up your BO2 console and execute your CFG. Now, once again, you can buy my pack, which will have CFGs and reshades in it, or you can share and get it for free. So I'm just going to execute my CFG. I usually use. And yeah. Now, I'm going to start talking about time scales. So, what you always want is 600 FPS, really. So whatever FPS you can record at, you want to find out how you can record it at 600. So, if I record at 30 FPS, it will be, at timescale 0.05, it will be 600 FPS. Now, if I record at 0.01, 6 FPS, it will be 600 FPS. If I record at 60, 0.1, that will be 600 FPS. Basically, you just want to tweak that until you can actually record, because, you know, obviously people get different frame rates and stuff and you may not be able to do it if you use too high FPS so I record at 0 0.05 30 so now I'm going to record this clip you also want to make sure if you're using reshade that your CFG doesn't have anything to do with AA in it so if I go in here seems I've already removed AA from my stuff but sometimes they re-execute it so anyways, let's record. Make sure that your um, speed thing is also at 1 as well. Okay, so once your clip is done recording, you now want to open up AVI for 8 which is this software, find the folder where you saved it and change it to 600 FPS or whatever FPS 
you worked out. So 600 vests is what we used. And now our clip will be in normal speed when we go to edit it in Vegas. Okay, so now we're going to cover recording sins. I forgot to mention that you want to use start film instead of quadcast film for recording sins. Now, recording sins is actually quite annoying. I'd actually say it's more annoying than recording the actual clip. So it's the same procedure. You have a CFG, etc. But we're actually going to execute something called advanced dolly cams before we start. So choose e go to other, ease interpolation, load mod, and it'll come up with successfully loaded mod and press OK. Now that's, once that's done, we just want to go to the part of our clip like we did before. Once we're at the part of the clip that we want, you want to make sure you disable HUD by pressing F2, press F3, and once you're in third person, what you want to do is, is switch to a different player. Once you're a different player, you want to go and find where you were, and yeah, that's it. Now you can start placing markers by going into edit camera mode. Now with the uh, advanced dolly cam, we can use hold shift and zoom in. You may have to play a little bit to uh, change your FOV and we can use the scroll wheel to do that. So let's place some markers. I recommend going in 0.2% or times to place markers so that we can get better control over our movement. So let's do this. That. Tilt a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. That. Go here. Zoom in a bit. And yeah. Now that was a really rough sin, but it will do for the purposes of the tutorial. So once you've done that, what you want to do is, is switch to player. Switch to a random player. Go here. Go two steps back. So one, two. You can use the arrow keys to do that. Press F on here. Press exit. Go back into dolly camera. F4. Execute your CFG. And then press. Well, start recording. And that is how you record sins and clips in BO2.